Hello, welcome. My name is Ken Zhang, FAE of Accentech. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to program digital I.O. on Accentech product. So let's begin. Digital I.O. connector is a 10-pin header on the SPC. Let's look at the SPC user manual first. As you can see, the digital I.O. connector is a 10-pin header on the SPC. A of the pins are input-output pins, and two of the pins are ground. The A input output pins are user programmable by software, meaning user can define how many pins can be used as input and how many pins can be used as output. Controlling the DIO port involves three steps. First, unlocking the Super IO controller. Second, selecting the number of input and output pins. Please note, this is done by writing a 8 bit value to IO address. 2F. And third, reading the input pins and writing to the output pins on the DIO port. I will show this in the later portion of the video. The sample code in the user manual is written in exemplary, um, but since C or C++ uh, is more common, I will show you a simple program um, that is written in C um, under Linux that controls the XMTech DIO port. Before we look at the code, um, let's look at the physical setup first. I use a 10-pin ribbon cable to connect SPC's DIO connector to the terminal block. And on the terminal block, I connected a tricolor LED um, to pin number 1, uh, which is bit 0, and to uh, output pin number 2, which is um, bit 2. And I have also connected a on-off switch um, to pin number A, uh, which is bit 5, and to ground. The purpose of this setup is to demonstrate how we can use uh, a program to control uh, turning on and off uh, the LED, uh, and also how the program can detect um, when the on-off switch is pressed. So let's look at the actual code. Here is the include section. Right here we declare the variable for user input. And we declare a variable for the IO address 2E. Now please keep in mind that controlling of the digital IO is done by reading and writing to IO address 2E and 2F. Under Linux, before you access any port, you must give your program permission to do so. This is done by using IOPerm. This line means give access to IO port address 2E and IO port address 2F. Unlocking the Winbound Super IO controller. DIO is coming out from Winbound Super IO controller. In order to gain access to the DIO, we must unlock the Winbound Super IO controller. This portion of the code should be unchanged and it's always required. In this section, we define which pins to be input pin and which pin to be output pins. This is done by writing a hex value 30 to IO address 2F. By writing hex value 30 to IO address 2F, we, dis we set pin number 6, bit 4, and pin number 8, bit 5 to be input pin and pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10 to be output pin. The last section of the code is for user input. In this section, user will write a value to IO address 2F, which turns on corresponding output pins, and it also reads the input pin status. So let's look at the actual programs and see how it works. So, Let's use the program to test the uh, digital output function first. Remember we have a tricolor LED connected to the terminal block. One of the anodes connected to pin number 1, bit 0. Another anode is connected to pin number 2, bit 2. And the cathode connected to the ground. So if we enter the value 1, we should expect the green side of the LED turn on. 
And if we enter the value 4, we should expect the red side of the LED to turn on. And if we enter value number 5, we should expect both the green and the red to turn on. So yes, the digital output function is working. So next, we're going to test the digital input functions. Remember we have an on-off switch. One of the pin is connected to pin number A, and another pin is connected to ground. Currently, the value of IO address 2F is 30, just like what we have set it before in the program, right here. If we toggle the on-off switch, and we read the IO address 2F again, we should expect bit number 5 to be turned off. And yes, it did turn off. I hope this short video could help you better understand our digital I.O. function. If you have any question, please contact us at www.axiomtech.com. Thank you.